continuing with adjectives, uh, this is a page from Texas French Grammar, which I've discussed with you in class. And I'm going to give you the link to this page. And I want you to read through this information. It's information we've already gone over in class, that adjectives in French are like chameleons, and they must agree in number and gender with the word that they modify. So the, you have to add masculine singular, feminine singular, masculine plural, feminine plural endings as appropriate. And in the examples we've been given so far, that we just read in the last um, example, you're given the feminine adjectives forms, which are usually have, which usually has a pronounced final consonant. So here we have petite, or petite plural with an s, whereas the masculine has petit. You don't pronounce the final consonant. So listening to these again, repeat them with me: petit, petite. Petit, petit. So notice there's four spellings, but only two pronunciations. The masculine singular and masculine plural are pronounced the same, petit. And the feminine singular and the feminine plural are pronounced the same, petit. And so I want you to go to this link on Texas French Grammar, read through the different examples. Notice the placement of adjectives in French follow the noun, whereas in English they come right before it. We would say he wears a round beret, but in French, rond comes after. And notice you have the translations. You have the adjectives here. It's masculine singular rond because the word beret is un beret. Here we have the word roman, which means novels. It's masculine and plural, L-E-S, so we have the masculine plural form. Nuns, feminine plural, so we have Catholic in the feminine plural form, etc. So go through, listen. Remember, you can click on these to listen to the audio file. And then practice at the bottom, filling in the correct form of these different adjectives. You will also have an assignment on my French lab to work with adjective spelling, adjective agreement with the noun.